They're going to need to look to somebody else now. And they've done that. Well, Keep it up, Clow. Up. Keep it ahead of you, You're fine. Keep it up. What's that say, Tim? Jackman Still moving. Still moving. He's from the beginning. He's fine. Under his right arm. He's from the beginning. And then trying to assemble the chariot, but before they could get the wheels on. The friend oh, shoved them off the blocks and Jackman's Hansen isolated here. Might do well to get it back on their side though. Taken on by O'Callaghan. Best position of the second half for Ireland. They simply have to get something from this spell of play. Away, They're that close. Push back. No, no. Which way will Redden go? He goes to the left. Taken on by the new man O'Driscoll. Redden. Carney. Switch to O'Callaghan. Three metres short. And the ball is loose. Gathered in by O'Driscoll. Had to take the hit to make sure that it was. There's the line. That's the challenge for Ireland. There it is. Backwards. Flick back. Redden goes. Not quite tall enough. Okay, sorry, I've got back. They're trying to crawl their way up to the line. What's the ball from you, boys? Taken on, up to the line by Leamy. He's short. Short and playable, forward, green ball. Scrum to Ireland. No, no, I'm yeah, it's Ireland taking their time to settle over a couple of those balls ball. and giving... France time to organise their defence, but when they took it on quickly without hesitation, they profited from it. And this time, Levy, he felt he was going to get over, but he didn't. That was nearly turned over, but fortune favoured Ireland there, and they've got themselves a decent scrum position. Rob Henderson watching down below. What's your reading of the tea leaves, Rob? From that last facet of play for me typifies the difference between the French performance and the Irish performance today. We've had three visits into the French 22 and have looked at our best when we're hitting one-off runners and mauling the ball as opposed to the French spinning the ball wide, hitting the ball from deep at pace, as Phil alluded to earlier on. And it's something that we've got to address because the crash bang against this strong French defence just isn't going to work. Rose! It's time on here. Oh, hey, wait, wait. Touch! Pause, engage. We were talking about questions remaining out of the Italy game. They will persist after this one, unless Ireland can really pull something out of the bag. They're trying to do it with the big grunters in the pack, with the scrum, but the French eight unbuckled for the time being. Yeah, I'd just like to see Hisla do something a little bit quicker. Once they got the nod, the nudge, rather than just letting that ball die, make his decision early and go with it. Plenty of green and white support in the stadium, offering up a little prayer. <laughs> Penalty. What do they do? Go for another scrum, maybe. That's the decision for O'Driscoll. Well, they've scrum well today. They obviously fancy their chances. And they've got a big scrummage and rotation in there. And now with Servat. But Ireland doing well here. Touch. Pause. Engage. Jackman, this week, recording the days when he used to come up from County Wicklow on the school bus, bouncing to Lansdowne Road with his mates, and now he's in the thick of things in the championship. Doesn't get much thicker than this. Five metre scrum with the French line within sniffing distance. Yeah, well, Julian Bruno's only on the field a matter of minutes, but he's he's showing the strain there. Jackman scrummaging, he's scrummaging well. I, from my perspective, he's had a good display today. Carried well, scrummed well, and I wouldn't blame him for the lineouts. It's a penalty try. Penalty try to the Irish, and the front row have done their job. Yeah, well, they're getting the slap on the back. Well done. That's a long time since we've seen an Irish front row getting on top of their French opposition, but they've certainly done it there. Absolutely nothing in the lineup. Look at the other major set piece, the scrum. They've 
beginning to exert some dominance, and it gives them a sliver of hope. Ogara with the simplest of conversions. Seven points for Ireland. And the thousands who've made their trip here this weekend have some more hope. 13 points the gap now, 58 minutes gone. France 26, Ireland 13. A penalty try off the grunt and grind and sweat of the pack.